Alright, here we are looking at the Grand Duchess Elena. And I'm sorry, but this girl has such a presence, she needed a big name. She came in named Momo, and that just isn't doing it for me. Um, this is a longer-haired gal. She's got some really good mats on her, on her neck in particular, that we're going to need to um, take her to a, a groomer and have those taken out, I think. She was really angry when we tried to get at them and while well, she's been incredibly um, sweet afterwards uh, it was she was quite a pistol during the bath so um, and then that was a bath that I gave her not the bath she's having right now this is a gal she's four paw declawed um, that is attractive to many people we don't allow it because it does cause some issues and one of the things that it causes is some nipping behaviors if the cat it feels uh, cornered or threatened or concerned. So she did nip during the bath, that's for sure, and we are marking her as no kids. Um, she needs an adult household and she needs a household that wants a female which is a cat that you respect their space and their territory you let them come to you and you don't push it you don't pick them up and you know tickle their belly and smooch them on the head without being invited to do so and um, so th this this gal fits right into that uh, she is a big gal. She needs to diet. She seems to be a dry food eater only, so we'll work on um, getting her some dry food that'll help her lose a little bit of weight. And she needs someone to pay attention to her fur. Once we get her all groomed and cleaned up, she'll need some regular uh, brushing. Um, given up for not liking other cats, if I remember correctly, and Again, you take that with a grain of salt because, you know, no two cats are going to like each other if they're very poor matches. You really have to do your matchmaking carefully. So what I'm seeing for this gal is um, certainly no other females. We'll see how she might do with a male. Um, only cat will be ideal. And a quiet home, somebody who likes... Um, the slightly fur challenge likes to groom their cat but likes to also respect their cat space and um, doesn't have to be you know kissing and cuddling and holding their cat every second um, but wants you know sort of a mutual companionship type relationship where um, they're enjoying each other's company but it's not an overwhelming neediness type uh, thing going on She's very busy cleaning herself up after the bath. That's a great sign. She's eaten already. What a surprise. Um, and that's a great sign. So uh, we'll have more on her as we get to know her a little better.